Hey everyone, welcome back to Bolts Tutorials. This year, my sophomore year, Ryan, Justin, and I became members of our school's broadcasting program, FCTV. So I figured, why not do an episode on working in a TV studio? So let's do it. You may remember a few months ago, the three of us wrote, directed, and edited a documentary about our program when we were intro students as freshmen for a telethon. Now as sophomores, we produce announcements, features, and news packages. There are two different periods for the sophomore classes, which primarily shoot the news, periods four and six. Each class alternates between doing the news and features, one week period 4 will take care of the announcements, while period 6 focuses, focuses on video features and vice versa the next week. There are particular jobs assigned to certain people on who does what on the news. Ryan, Justin, and I are the technical supervisors, if you will, whoever needs help with technical stuff, editing, equipment-wise, uh, visuals, uh, we're the ones to help. In the studio, we have a wall painted green with a large plasma television in the background. We have three Studio HDV cameras supported on tripod dollies. There are two handles on the tripods to, to control zoom and focus, and a teleprompter on top of it. In the control room, there's lots of equipment for multiple people to control. We have two live preview monitors. We control what camera is shooting who through a switcher. It's an old one that's not very good but gets the job done. We select what background we want and place it into the FS1 button that is controlled on the computer. Another computer controls the teleprompter and then another one captures the footage from the cameras. Usually we have about three people operating in the control room. For the teleprompter, we gather our stories through emails we get sent to our inbox, copy them into the prompter software, and set the speed. We usually give an equal amount of text for the anchors to read. We write down when the anchors are supposed to switch. Whenever I'm running switcher or tell the others how to operate, I always multi-focus. I can see the text scrolling on the prompter on another monitor just to the left of me. So I shift the focus between that and the monitors. Even though the text is mirrored, I can still see the numbers, i.e. when the prompter says 1, I know to switch to camera 1 for the first anchor. When the prompter says 3, I know to switch to camera 3. We do a broadcast to tape, meaning even though the news isn't broadcasted live, it's shot that way. We capture this on a Thunderbolt drive on Adobe Premiere on a laptop. Then we edit out any mistakes, put in our nameplates and news features, and then export it, and then upload it to the teleprompter computer, and then upload it to our news server. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Bolt Tutorials. Now I want to let you guys know that there's only going to be a few more episodes left of this season. The season 2 finale will premiere live at our FCTV live stream October 19th, 2013. I'll be 17 by then. The next two episodes will be short episodes about things I just discovered how to do. Um, and once we're done with season two, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a break for the rest of the year, but we will be back next year. For and next season will be entirely about you know the production of a short film, my short film. Also, Ryan and I are planning on doing two new shows. One will be featured on his channel, Long Media Films, and the other will be featured here on this channel. The show that will be featured on his channel is called Head to Head, which is sort of like a gaming uh, and other kind of competitive show 
and the second show that will be featured on this channel is called Geek Out, which is a show where Ryan and I will we review products uh, like uh, cameras, uh, gear, anything. Anything that we love to geek out about. But yeah, make sure to subscribe to this channel, Thomas Bolt, and make sure to like the Facebook page, Thunderbolt Films. And follow me on Twitter at ThomasBolt1. Thanks for watching. Take care.